Many times we see a lot of pest attacks and fungal infections on our plants and get really disappointed. But there are a lot of organic pesticides that we can make at home to protect our plants from these diseases. Hi and welcome to Fresh from my garden. There are a lot of diseases that attack plants especially during the rainy season like fungal attacks, spider mites, mealybugs and so many other pests. But there are a lot of organic pesticides and fungicides that we can make at home to protect our plants from these pest attacks. When using pesticides and fungicides in the garden, there is always one thing to keep in mind. Use them only as and when it is required because overuse of these fungicides or pesticides will cause more harm and damage the plants in your garden. In today's video, I'll share a very cost effective organic pesticide that you can make at home for all these pest attacks in your garden. These are dried tobacco leaves and along with this we are using some laundry detergent to make this solution of biopesticide to use in our garden. Tobacco leaves are sourced locally and they have nicotine which will help in killing all the pests that affect your garden. We will now share the method to make this biopesticide using these two ingredients. This solution is really strong and it must be used carefully. Here we have a bucket of water which is approximately 20 liters into which we are cutting pieces of these tobacco leaves. These tobacco leaves need to steep in water for at least 24 to 48 hours before they can be used. Steeping these chopped up tobacco leaves in water for at least a day or two will help to separate the nicotine from the leaves and act as a beneficial pesticide that will get rid of all the soft bodied insects in our garden. This solution is mostly used for vegetable crops. Add about 10 to 15 grams of chopped tobacco leaves into a bucket of water containing 15 to 20 liters of water. Into that we need to add the second ingredient that is the laundry detergent. The soap or the laundry detergent acts as an adhesive to help this pesticide stay onto the leaves of the plant and not flow away easily. Using a knife or a grater shred about 10 to 15 grams of this laundry detergent also into the bucket of water that contains the chopped up tobacco leaves. This solution needs to rest for a minimum of one to two days before it can be used. Mix this solution well and let it sit for 24 to 48 hours and you will see a change in the color of the solution before you can use it. This is the solution after two days. You can see how the color has changed. It is a dark deep brown color from all the nicotine from the tobacco leaves that has steeped into the water. Mix this solution well before you use it. As you mix you can see that the soap that has also been added into the water is getting mixed along with the tobacco leaves. 
The best time to use this solution is early in the morning as it will stick to the leaves and prevent the insects from harming the plants during the day. Strain out this liquid removing all the tobacco leaves and anything else that might get blocked in the sprayer as you are using it. This solution needs to be diluted at least 8 to 10 times before you use it on your plants. I will be diluting this solution now before adding it to a spray bottle and further diluting it to make sure that it is not too strong for the plants. We are pouring this into a spray bottle and diluting it further before spraying it on our veggie plants. This solution is extremely strong and it is very important to dilute this so that it does not burn your plants. Also before you use any sort of pesticide, make sure that you only use it whenever you see a pest attack on your plants. Here you can see that we have a stunted growth on our chili plants and some of our other veggie plants have also been infected with tiny insects and mealybugs. Overuse of any sort of pesticide is also not beneficial for your plants. In fact, it causes more harm than good for your plants. Also, when applying any pesticide or fertilizer for your plants, you need to be sure that it is not during the midday or when the sun is up because that will only burn the roots of your plants and harm your plants. It must always be done early in the morning or in the evenings. In this channel, I have also shared a few other organic pesticides and fertilizers that you can make at home for your garden. If you enjoy watching our videos, please do consider subscribing to our channel and also share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Fresh from my garden.